Hi, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Yes, let's get into the objective of this video, which is to know the inventor of camera, a widely used and handy device which is helping us to store our memories into a form of images. Basically, a camera is a device for recording visual images in the form of photographs, film, or video signals. The invention and the motivation of camera got its roots from the earlier inventions of a device called Camera Obscura. Therefore, it will be unfair to credit one person so let's learn a bit about Camera Obscura. Well that being said, Camera Obscura is the word derived from Latin, Camera Obscura, which means, dark chamber. A Camera Obscura is a device that is formed from a box, tent, or a room which has a small hole in one of its four sides. Now the light from an external source is made to pass through the small hole and strike a surface inside, where the scene is reproduced inverted, that is upside down and reversed from left to right, thus a image is projected on the surface. Behind the invention and development of Camera Obscura there were many scientists and philosopher like Aristotle, Mosey, Al-Kindi and few others have done many experiments in 4th century AD, on light and passage of light from hole. Later, a scientist named Al-Hazan, also known as Abu Ali Al-Hassan, in 11th century. He was a scientist, mathematician, astronomer and philosopher was the person who designed Camera Obscura. Since the same technology is used to capture photos let's find who came with a solution to save the projected images on an paper. Now in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, the Camera Obscuras has inspired few people like Joseph Nicephor Neeps, Thomas Wedgwood and Henry Fox Talbot has started to find east ways of capturing the image and print the images captured. Among them Neeps technically took the first photo on a homemade camera, with silver chloride covered paper. While his first photograph was only partially successful, he is the inventor of the very first surviving photograph, which is a main reason why he is widely accepted as the inventor of the camera. In a letter written to his to his sister-in-law around 1816 indicates that Neeps had managed to capture small camera images on paper coated with silver chloride, making him apparently the first to have any success at all in such an attempt, but the results were negatives, dark where they should be light and vice versa, I mean to say the places that were supposed to be light were dark and vice versa. Hence, Neeps turned his attention to other substances that were affected by light, eventually concentrating on bitumen of Judea, Neeps dissolved bitumen in lavender oil, a solvent often used in varnishes, and thinly coated it onto a lithographic stone or a sheet of metal or glass after the coating had dried. Neeps took an image that he wanted to paint and kept the image on the bitumen coated stone or glass and exposed it to the sunlight. After sufficient exposure, the solvent could be used to rinse away only the unhardened bitumen from the glass surface then the image he wanted to capture was thus printed on bitumen coated glass or stone, he called this process as heliography which means sun drawing. In his further experiments he kept his heliography coated plate in the other end of camera obscura machine and captured images. Neeps's first real success in using bitumen to create a permanent photograph of the image in a camera obscura came in 1824. That photograph, made on the surface of a lithographic stone, had later got disappeared. In 1826 or 1827 he again photographed the same scene, the view from a window in his house, on a sheet of bitumen coated pewter. The result has survived and is now the oldest known camera photograph still in existence. The first permanent photograph of a camera, image was made in 1825 by Joseph Nicephor Neeps using a sliding wooden box camera made by Charles and Vincent Chevalier in Paris. Neeps had been experimenting, with ways to fix the images of a camera obscura since 1816. The photograph Neeps succeeded in creating shows the view from his window. It was made using an 8-hour exposure on pewter coated with bitumen, after which Neeps corresponded, with the inventor Louis Jacques Mande Daguerre, and the pair entered into a partnership to improve the heliographic process. Neeps had experimented further with other chemicals, to improve contrast in his heliographs. Daguerre contributed an improved camera obscura design, but the partnership ended when Neeps died in 1833. Neeps received little credit for his contribution. Later historians have reclaimed Neeps from relative obscurity, and it is now generally recognized that his heliography was the first successful example of what we now call photography. Hope I have given you the information that you are searching for. Please show your gratitude by clicking the like button. Leave a comment about what would you wish to know about, I will try to do it in my next video, thanks for watching, have good day.